Hi, my name is Louis. If this is the first time visiting my channel, welcome. If you've been here for a minute, what's up? In a matter of J. Cole and Kendrick, it's a debate that's been going on for way too long. Some of us are waiting for that J. Cole Kendrick album, while others have made mixtapes it's as if they did a collab album. It's always about the comparison, but let's settle this today. No matter how much analytical it gets, it's still an opinion. We like artists for different reasons, maybe they helped us get out of a tough situation or it's the energy, let's get into it. We will be looking at commercial success, replayability value, sound selection, content and delivery. King Kendrick, Backstory. Section 80 was his debut album released in July 2nd, 2011 and sold like 130,000 copies and had themes like racism, medication tolerance and the crack epidemic. It got to the billboard at number 113. For me, I feel like High Power was the hardest track on that album. It was produced by J. Cole. Kendrick said the three I's in the word High Power stand for heart, honor, and respect. The three main things that people should have and live by. King Cole. Cole, while the sideline story was his debut album released on September 27, 2011. He handled most of the production with no ID. The album made to number one on Billboard 200. Sold 218,000 on the first week. It was mainly about growing up without a father, and you have to forge that path yourself. One of the tracks, Lost Ones, talked about abortion and the cycle of trying to be better than your father to your unborn child to realize you are headed in the same direction. I love Drazen and Shine, the bass, guitar, and that violin, the harmonizing, the high-pitched sampled vocals, it was heaven. Their follow-ups were crazy, to be honest. King Kendrick. Good Kid Mad City was his second album released on October 22nd, 2012, sold 242,000 on the first week, earning the highest first week hip-hop album sales of 2012 from a male artist. It got number two on the Billboard 200. As the title suggests, it's about that kid trying to get out of an environment that's unhealthy, in turn influencing his decisions. I liked backseat freestyle on the album, why? With the subs and drums about to blow my speakers, the heavy snare and the aggressive rap from Kendrick, Paris, Beach, what else would I need? King Cole, Bon Cena, yo, Bon Cena. First of the intro, Villuminati. It had all this darkness with the choir in it, but his delivery shined right through, which will keep reoccurring on for the rest of the album with that biggest voice sample in the back on that one. I couldn't skip a track and the rest is history. I still can't skip a track today. He released it on June 18, 2013, selling 297,000 copies in the first week of release, the same date as Yeezus' album by Kanye. Balls man, balls, he had sold Kanye. As far as replayability value goes, we go for Kendrick because of the aggressive rap and storytelling in the streets, and for Cole because of his laid-back rap and storytelling around a campfire. Sound selection. Since J. Cole has some experience in programming drums, looping samples and creating melodies, he can choose what he really wants and not what is given to him. Kendrick compensates that with some really deep poetry, switching flows, making his voice high-pitched and low-pitched to make that stamp on the beat like he's an extension of it. That high-pitched and low-pitched sometimes is funny but it gets the job done with a sprinkle of Spanish. Yeah, he gets it home. As for content, it's being vulnerable. From a personality point of view, and how each were brought up and where they grew up. Cole is always in the woods like a retreat like somewhere zen, while Kendrick has that city vibe. Even though both talk about drug addiction, drug use and gang violence, I feel like Kendrick is close range more than J. Cole. My last thoughts is I think they should make an album. J. Cole drops in a couple of verses and takes care of the beats more while Kendrick tries to write those beats. That will be hellfire, I promise. Who is better? They both have strengths and they know how to compensate what they are not good at. It's always about what you're looking for and how much they spoke to you than the other. Anyway, that was my time. Tell me what you think on the comment section. Any addition? Tell me what I should cover next. I also do reactions. Subscribe for more. Peace out.